एयर लाइन नाउ सर रियो रियो फ्रस्ट्रेट ऑल फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ ब्रह्मनिष्ठ सद्गुरु स्वामी विराजेश्वर सरस्वती एंड द एंटायर गुरु परंपरा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस टुडेस डिस्कोर्स ऑन द विवेक चूडामणी विल कंटिन्यू ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री महासरस्वत नम सदा शिव सरंभा श्रीशंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्टकृत वंदे भगवत सर्वेदात सिद्धातगोचर तमगोचर गोविंद परमानंद सद्गु प्रणतस्म ओम नमो भगवते विराजेश्वराय हरि ओम लास्ट टाइम द श्लोका नंबर वर्स नंबर फेरली लॉन्ग वन थ्री फोर्टी थ्री वॉज कंप्लीटेड फ्रॉम थ्री फोर्टी फोर वर्स नंबर ऑनवर्ड्स टू डेज डिस्कोर्स विल कंटिन्यू repeatedly now and then it is being very make you know making it very clear that the discourse is mainly based on the explanation or the bhashya given by sri chandrashekar bharati mahas swamigal on the viveka chudamani by acharya shankara bhagavat pad in the preceding set of shlokas imparting the highest knowledge about the absolute principle itself which again is difficult to explain in words that which is beyond the words beyond the buddhi and beyond the mind beyond the perceptible sense organs which cannot be understood by the mind now acharya is trying to explain in detail about this principle itself atmanishtha vidhana he is talking about that how to develop atmanishtha how to get focused and abide in that highest state of being so that is that is actually in vedanta called as samyak viveka or samyak jnana samyak jnana or samyak viveka understanding the reality it's understanding the true nature of myself what i am actually and negating all other things superimposed on this self itself by pramada is the false identification samyak viveka photo bodh janyo vibhashya artha tattvam chinatti maya kruta moha bandham yasmat vimuktasya punarna samsruti samyak viveka sputa bodh janyo vibhajya drug दृश्य पदार्थ तत्व छिन्ति मयाकृत मोह बंधम यस्मात्मुक्त पुनर्न संस्मृति वर्ड्स इन दिस श्लोक आचार्य एक्सप्लेनिंग टू हिस् डिसपल यस्मात्मुक्त पुनर्न संस्मृति विमुक्त पुनर्न संस्कृति श्लोक आचार्य मुख्यवाद सूचने उपदेश अर्ध व्यक्तिया
ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿರತಕ್ಕಂತಹಿಸು ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಂದೆ ನಡೀತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತಹವನು ಗುರುಪದೇಶದಿಂದ ಆವೃತ್ತನಾಗಿ ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನ ನಿಷ್ಠೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಉತ್ತಮೋತ್ತಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಆರ್ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷು ಮುಕ್ತನಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಮುಕ್ತನಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವುದರಿಂದ ನಿಜವಾದ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ದರ್ಶನದಿಂದ ಆತ್ಮಬೋಧದಿಂದ ನಿಜಬೋಧದಿಂದ ತನ್ನ ಸ್ವಸ್ವರೂಪವನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತ ಮುಕ್ತ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸುವಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಂಸಾರ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಬರುತ್ತದೆ ಆತನಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಸಂಸಾರವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದೇ ಕೊನೆಯ ಜನ್ಮ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮವಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು So the Acharya is very clearly mentioning here Samyak Vivekaha Spudavoda Janyaha Vibhajya Druk Prushya Padhartha Tattvam Chinatti Maya Krita Moha Vandham Maya Krita Moha Vandham Chinatti Which one? Samyak Vivekaha Spudavoda Janyaha ದೃಕ್ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ತತ್ವ ವಿಭಜ್ಯ ಮಾಯಾಕೃತ ಮೋಹಬಂಧಂ ಚಿನ್ನತಿ ಚಿನ್ನತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಟ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಇಟ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಕಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸೆಂಟರ್ ಕತ್ತಡಿಸುವುದು ಚಿನ್ನತಿ ಮಾಯಾಕೃತ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನವನ್ನೇ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿ ಹಾಕಲ್ಪಡುತ್ತದೆ ಯಾವುದು ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಸ್ಫುಟಭೋದ ಜನ್ಯ ಸರಿಯಾದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಉತ್ತಮ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಖರವಾಗಿ ಸ್ಫುಟವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಆ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿಯಾದಂತಹ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಈ ದೃಕ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಈ ದೃಕ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪನಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆತ್ಮ ಮತ್ತು ದೃಶ್ಯ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಎದುರುಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಈ ತತ್ವಗಳನ್ನ ದೃಕ್ ಮತ್ತು ದೃಶ್ಯ ಈ ಎರಡೂ ತತ್ವಗಳನ್ನ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಸರಿಯಾದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿವೇಚನೆಯಿಂದ ವಿಂಗಡಿಸಿ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಆ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಉದಯಿಸಿದರೆ ಮಾಯಾಕೃತವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಈ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಲ್ಪಡುತ್ತದೆ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನ ಹೋದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಂತಹ ಅಂತಹ ಆ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸುವಿಗೆ ಅಂತಹ ಮುಕ್ತನಾದವನಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಬೈ perfect discrimination viveka perfect discrimination is a result of understanding of separating clearly the seen and the seer so the perfect discrimination means understanding the perception of the seer and the seen seer means the one who sees the world druk seen means the world which is being experienced the world which is being perceived by our five senses what we see what we hear etc right so the object here is a world drushya that is a prapancha and the person who is perceiving is the seer he is a druk by the perfect discrimination and understanding the nature of seer and seen vibhajya druk drushya padartha tattvam then the so called the bondage of delusion created by the maya that is totally cut chinatti maya krita moha bandham so once the discrimination sets in very clearly about the seer and the seen so the seer is a reality the seen is only transitory mithya jnana it is unreal the world what we are perceiving is unreal in the real sense it is only fleeting 
momentary transitory it won't stay permanently as it is it has its own birth it has its own death so that which is born has to go one day so that is why it is transitory it is not real it is unreal which one the world itself being perceived now nortakkantaha prapancha ivattala naale hort hort hogodu adrinda iga torta ide ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾಲಘಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಇದು ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಈ ಈ ಉದಯ ಈ ಈ ಜ್ಞಾನದ ವಿವೇಕದ ಉದಯ ಆದಾಗ ಈ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನ ತಾನಾಗೆ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಲ್ಪಡುತ್ತದೆ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂತಹ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆ ಮೋಹಬಂಧನದಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತನಾದಂತಹ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಮುಮುಕ್ಷು ಆತನಿಗೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಇಲ್ಲ so once this illusion related by aspect the liberation occurs mukti occurs and once the person is liberated from this illusion of maya what happens no more there is samsara for him he will not return back there is no more rebirth no more rebirth so while living in this body now here itself he is liberated he is liberated from samsara so that is a point here acharya is again hammering the same point in different different verses yasmat vimuktasya punarna samshrutihi we have to remember these key phrases punarna samshrutihi no more rebirth for a liberated soul so samyak vivekah sputabodha janya so what does he actually mahaswami and he gave bharat mahaswami makes it very clear about this here so that means the scriptures the upanishad mahavakyas and the aptavakyas by the sadguru so the scriptures the holy scriptures the shastra vakya and those imparted by the sadguru and the grace of the sadguru only by the grace of the guru and the scriptures vedantic scriptures samyak viveka will arise by the, the the insightful direct perception of the upanishad mahavakyas that will arise by the grace of shruti itself by the grace of sadguru itself by the prasada so last time you remember this was there is a point where it was said very clearly at one point point sri sureshwarachari the first pontiff for the jagat guru of the pringeri sharada peetham dakshinamnaya sharada peetham pringeri he mentions very clearly at one point that shrutyacharya prasadena yogabhyasa vashena cha ishvara anugraheda swatma bhodo yatha bhave so by the grace of shruti by the grace of the upanishads or upanishad mahavakya and shrutyacharya and by the grace of the sadguru who imparts that knowledge directly face to face to the disciple so by the grace of the acharya sadguru and also by ishvara anugrahena by the grace of lord swatma bhodo yatha bhavet samyak jnana will arise so that nijya bhoga will arise and the mumukshu jignasu will ultimately will know his own reality his own self so that leads to his liberate next ಪರಾವರೈಕತ್ವೇಕವಹ್ನೀ ಸಹತ್ಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಗಹನಂ ಯಶೇಷಂ 
किं सैन संसरण से बीज मद्वैत भाव सुषोस्वेकनीतहत्य विद्या गहनम विशेष किं सैन संसरण से बीज मद्वैत भाव सुषोस् with with a very common example a sort of an analogy or a simile actor is explaining just like a wild fire especially in the summer season in the forest area when a wild fire starts itself now it goes on expanding and expanding and expanding with the aid of the wind the blowing wind and the entire forest area is covered by the wild fire and the acres and acres of land of forest you now get destroyed in no time because of the wildfire the entire forest can be destroyed it will burn away itself that is the force of the fire wildfire so the example acharya yes. says विवेक ज्ञान सम्य ज्ञान अव विवेक विवेक अन्व अग्नि आग्चु अविद्या अरण्यवे संपूर्ण नाशमो अर्थ अदे प्रकार परावर ऐकत्व परमात्म बेर सद्वस्तु बेर आत्मस्वरूपन नानु स्वयं आत्मस्वरूपने आगे नान बेर आत्मस्वरूप बेरे अल परावर परतत्व परब्रह्म तत्व बेरे अल अव भाव अंद्रे ब्रह्म आत्म ऐकत्व भाव परावर ऐकत्व विवेक मीन ब्रह्म आत्म ऐकत्व भाव नो डिफरेन्स बिटवी दि एब्सल्यूट परब्रह्म तत्व ब्रह्म पदार्थ ईश्वर एज कामनली डिनोटेड गाड as commonly denoted so there is absolutely no difference between that paravara that brahma padartha and atma padartha both the self the atma pratyagatma inside the body and the paravara tattva outside completely spread over as the substratum mula sanatana avyakta there is no difference between the two both are one and the same so the brahma padartha and atma are one and the same brahma atma ekatva bhava so when that is generated that becomes the first hand experience when that is perceived very clearly so that knowledge of direct perception of atma and brahma being one and the same so that knowledge of the perception like a fire burns away the forest of avidya ajnana ignorance once for all burns away the forest of avidya totally burns away the forest of avidya so the fire of knowledge of oneness with the absolute the fire of knowledge of oneness with the absolute burns away the avidya itself ajnana itself that i am different he is different god is different i am different so such all dualistic mithya ajnana is totally burnt out kim syat punah samsaranasya bijam advaita bhavam samapo samupeyusho asya samupeyushah asya so when that is the case
ಈ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅವಿದ್ಯೆಯೇ ನಾಶವಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆತ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಪರತತ್ವ ಒಂದೇ ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಾವ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಯಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಭಾವ ಇದೆ ಈ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಭಾವ ಸರಿಯಾದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಸಿದರೆ ಅಂತಹವನು ಆ ಮೊಮೋಕ್ಷು ಜ್ಞಾನಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಆತನಿಗೆ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಂತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ತಾನಾಗಿಯೇ ಬಂತು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಭಗವತ್ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಶ್ರುತಿಯ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಅಂತಹ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಕಿಂ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಪುನಃ ಸಂಸರಣಸ್ಯ ಬೀಜಂ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಭಾವ ಸಮುಪೇಯುಷ ಅಸ್ಯ ಸಮುಪೇಯುಷ ಅಸ್ಯ ಕಿಂ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಪುನಃ ಸಂಸರಣಸ್ಯ ಬೀಜಂ ನ ವನ್ಸ್ ಇ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಸೊ ದಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನಿ why he will come back to samsara where is the reason for him to return where is the reason to take again birth once he is already realized so he has become already a mukta he has become a jivan mukta while living in this life itself while living still in the body he has liberated himself so once he is liberated he will not come back he will not return back to samsara that is the main point here acharya is making very now what do we have to remember here throughout viveka chuda mani Acharya Bhagavad Pada, here and there in different verses, he is stressing this point very repeatedly, very clearly that there is no necessity for a jnani, a realized person, a liberated soul to return back to samsara. To return back to samsara. See, for example, earlier, just now, earlier he said, ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಪುನರ್ನ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸೊ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಂಸಾರ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಬಾಂಡೇಜ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಿಂ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಪುನಃ ಸಂಸರಣಸ್ಯ ಬೀಜಂ so a person who has realized himself how can he come back to samsara so for a jnani in other words there is no return back to samsara that means ultimately what repeatedly acharya is stressing this point in viveka chudamani which is there as a central dogma of our core vedantic principle it's ಅದ್ವೈತ ವೇದಾಂತದ ತಳಹದಿಯೇ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಮತ್ತು ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಮರಳುವುದು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮರಣಾನಂತರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮರು ಹುಟ್ಟು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸಂಸಾರ ಚಕ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಸುತ್ತ ಇರೋದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಆದಾನಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಆದವನು ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬಲದಿಂದ ಮೂಲ ಅಜ್ಞಾನದ ಕಾರಣ ಪ್ರಮಾದದಿಂದ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಸಾವು ಹುಟ್ಟು ಮರಣ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಇವು ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಿಯಾದವನಿಗೆ ಇದೇ ಕೊಂಡೇಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡೇಜ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸೊ ಸಂಸಾರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರೀಬರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ 
death and rebirth death and rebirth death and rebirth is continuously going on and on and on so we are all part of this cycle of birth that's elsewhere acharya has made it very clear in the introduction to bhagavad gita bhashya the most simplified way the simplest way you find that that actually some sign nothing the core point some sign shoka, shoka soha is equal to some sign we can you know simplify that codify it in single equation yeah, for our benefit to know like that samsara means the shoka and moha what is the shoka and moha shoka means suffering grief all the time when things go wrong against expectations against your mental projections and when unexpected unhappy things happen always the grief the suffering sets in the mind in everyone's life see the suffering is always there whether a person is a super rich or whether ordinary middle class or a lower middle class or even the poorest of the poor class so whether he is the poorer or richer the suffering always is there till the death till the death because the mind is geared up with all thoughts mind is always against the bad things happening expecting only good things and good things will never happen in the long run of life span of any individual the fleeting moments of happiness are very rare whereas the major chunk of the life is nothing but suffering craving for happiness expecting happiness expecting pleasure but suffering is always there in one way or the other in the personal life of any individual without fail so till the last breath all these sufferings will be carried in the form of thoughts and thoughts and thoughts generated upon one thought after another thought and the whole mind becomes totally caught up in this maya so that results in happiness that results in that sati shoka nirantravagi pratiyobba manushyana jeevanadalli yav yav karanakko buddhi tilidaginda marana baru tanaka yav yav nooraru roopadalli shoka samasyegalu sankatagalu vartane iruttalla jeevanadalli ಸುಖದ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಂತೋಷದ ಗಳಿಗೆಗಳು ಬಹಳ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಯಾತನೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಕಟ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಗೆನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ totally with a depressed mood how to solve the crisis so the life is full of crisis if you solve one crisis another will sprout immediately so life ultimately becomes a chain of crisis chain of thoughts chain of thoughts how to solve one problem with another problem so the problems and crisis and suffering are the base result of any individual life till the last breath till the last breath we absolutely without any doubt that is because this shoka this suffering this crisis is because because of moha acharya because of the attachment no attachment attachment means the feeling of aham i the aham the ego that phantom unreal entity superimposed by pramada by false identification that i am the body so that entity called ego ahankara equating the atma with the body itself so that ego 
plays all the trick in our life and that ego is me myself feeling aham pratyek and along with that the mind feeling also gets tagged on people my people me and my people so that results in attachment 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 the bondage the bondage the one you know increasing day by day day by day till the last breath the bondages will never be cut because we have entangled ourselves in the bondage we have completely surrounded ourselves with our own mental creations of the called moha bondage so samsara mein shoka and moha why acharya always here is talking about no return to samsara you escape from this bond because is very if you go deeper contemplating on this aspect it becomes very clear even logically if you think it becomes very clear if we take our own lives as an example who else is a better judge than myself about my own life because in send out of my life i know than anybody else more than anybody else in the family i know about my life my feelings my distraction sufferings dejections everything what is happening in the mind and the suffering the nature of suffering everything is known so every individual is an example for his own mental status which he experiences 24 bar 7 till the last breath till the death now imagine yourself at what stage you are in the life whether you are a very poor ordinarily poor fairly better middle class rich class super rich class or a billionaire or a millionaire or a celebrity whatever it is you are if you just contemplate coolly think about personal life if you have a bird's eye view of the life so far what is happening in the life and then the next our life we don't know we don't know how many years we are going to survive how will make you to suffer mentally and physically as the age progresses you don't know you have only a fair idea by looking into others but no personal experience so imagine imagine ourselves if we were a still surviving nine plus of age still surviving what happens if i sit and imagine if you sit and imagine imagine that you are 70 plus 80 plus 90 even biologically medically it is a well known fact the body loses all its tenacity muscular strength walking ability the faculty of taste everything gradually goes down goes down goes down they lose their prominence and ultimately somehow you become more mobile you are fully mobile in life walking down going down running down enjoying the life partying taking long vacations driving flying from one country to one country you are stuck to the bed so that is a horrible situation in one common sense nobody really wants that but it happens <laughs> and then one fine day thinking for thinking thinking of death so oh, that is the most horrible feeling you become alone totally you become a loner nobody is there to care for a old person 90 plus years. nobody will care really they are busy in their life your own younger generation they are busy in their life and you are on the bed you are afraid of the death abhinivesha marana bhaya afraid of death 
and nobody is there to give you solace or company or comfort. Then what happens? So after that agonizing period, and then maybe ultimately in a hospital bed, we all die every day, suffering and suffering, suffering till the prarabdha ends. The death will occur. Maybe in ICU, maybe on a general bed. Ninety-nine point nine percent people will die in hospital bed on the hospital bed because nobody will look after the old person at home. The moment some small sickness occurs, some medical problem occurs, we are shifted to hospital. Nobody will care. Nobody will look after you. Fortunate are those people who take care of the eighty plus, ninety plus old people at home with all. Shraddha, bhakti, and devotion and love. Hardly handful. So we end up suffering, suffering mentally, and then we die one day. After that, what? After that, what? Again, there is a punar jama, river, a pot. So once again we are born. Very few chakras to be realized. The Vedanta Darshana is a number. I believe they committed that Charva Kapi. This is birth, this is our only life. This is our only human precious life after death. Sir, uh, you are muted, sir. We cannot hear you. Hari Om. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, no. It's... So, I, there, there was some technical glitch. Okay. So, I was talking, I was telling about with all the suffering a person will die, mostly in uh, ICU bed or in hospital bed, because nobody else in the home ready to take care of the old person. You know, Old, the moment a person becomes old and senile and stuck to the bed means it's gone case. It's only a non-entity. However celebrity he was earlier in his life. However rich he is. So they will, they will push the responsibility to the hospitals. And out of sheer, you know, as a multinational corporate sector hospitals, they only work, they only think of their money. So nobody gives you solace and comfort and love in the hospital. So the person will die. Horrible death. Mentally horrible death. Till the prarabdha is there, he will be suffering a lot in the mind. That happens to every one of us. See, there is Ajahn. We don't know that. <laughs> Barring a few really divine souls who just like that have a very beautiful death, like heart attack. Within no time, they will die without being hospitalized. And of course, some unnatural death like accident. All others will suffer and die. Suffer. And die. After that, again, there is rebirth. So, Charvakas used to say, I, I was talking about, in our country, Charvaka Siddhanta, based on the Virochana Siddhanta, what is the Siddhanta, the principle? That this is the only life. There is no rebirth at all. Who who tells you there is a river? It's all bogus. It's all hearsay. There is no proof. Nobody after death has come back and told you that there is river. This is the end. Enjoy. Make merry. This is the present day our scenario also in the entire world. People, majority are now, they believe in this Charvaka Siddhanta. This is the only life. There is no river. So that is one school of thought. 
but we believe in river we believe in punarjan indian vedanta believes in punarjan that's why i just very same thing will continue we are again it continues struggle continues pursue, pursue pursuit for happiness and pleasures will continue the ichha to be more will come together suffering will everything repeats in a different setup in a different body in a different family with a different name with a different status and with a different spouse with different set of children whatever it is whatever it is. so this drama will continue the after rebirth again you will follow through the all the trivials and troubles and strings what you are seeing now in various in varying degrees of proportion the next birth also so that is what that is so if you are caught up in this cycle of birth death and rebirth where is the end there is no more this is bhava bandhana so you have to come out of the bandhana out of the bondage means you should realize no more river after death you will not come back to this samsara that is the main point that is the main point i said so why why it is important why the samyak darshana is important why this <coughs> atma sakshatkar striving is important now the next one ಆವರಣಸ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನೇಳ್ತಾ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ವಸ್ತು ಆತ್ಮದರ್ಶನ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಹೊಂದುವುದರಿಂದ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಉಂಟಾದ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಮಾದದಿಂದ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶರೀರ ಅನ್ನು ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಶರೀರ ನಾನು ಇಂಥವನು ಇಂಥವಳು ಅನ್ನು ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಮತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಎರಡೂ ಮಿಥ್ಯೆ ಈ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜ್ಞಾನವು ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಹೋಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಬಲವಾದಂತಹ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಶಕ್ತಿಯು ತಾನಾಗಿ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಉಂಟಾದ ದುಃಖವು ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತದೆ ಆತ್ಯಂತಿಕವಾಗಿ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದುಃಖ ಶೋಕ ಸಾಗರ ಈ ಶೋಕ ಸಾಗರ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಹೋದ ನಂತರ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆವರಣಸ್ಯ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ದರ್ಶನತ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿನಾಶ ತದ್ವತ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಜನಿತ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಸೊ ದಿ ಮಾಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಪವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪವರ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ವೇಸ್ ಮಾಯ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ವೇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ covers in two ways avarna and viksha or is concealing viksha by by prostration by first hand knowledge first hand experience of samyak padar means once the person 
the momokusho is realized once he himself he is that supreme consciousness supreme awareness himself he is that samyak padartha himself he is that brahma padartha himself so once the mumukshu realizes that what happens the concealing power of maya automatically is cut it is destroyed avarna shakti is destroyed maya avarna shakti is destroyed or removed and so also the mithya jnana the false identification that i am real i am the body this body is real i am the sharira the sharira is real prapancha is real the world is real so this is mithya jnana even that goes away along with avarna shakti so after realization the mithya jnana and the concealing power of the maya goes away destroyed then what happens so also the suffering the grief the shoka due to vikshepa shakti even that is destroyed tadvat vikshepa janita dukha nivrutti vikshepa janita dukha nivrutti so the dukha the suffering the grief due to vikshepa shakti the projecting power the wrong projection that the world is real i i means the body is real so that vikalpa the mental fantasy mental imagination even that is destroyed so by that the atyantika dukha is destroyed means the the dukha nivrutti because of vikshepa even that is destroyed so here three things are there what acharya is saying one is by realization in simple by atma jnana atma sakshatkar brahma sakshatkar or by realizing the self by realizing my true identity who i am by that first hand realization first hand experience by first hand aparoksha anubhuti direct experience by aparoksha anubhuti what happens the concealing power of maya avarna shakti is destroyed and thereby the false knowledge mithya jnana that world is real i am the body world is real i am the body so the duality even that mithya jnana that destroyed then dukha nivrutti due to vikshepa so the suffering suffering dukha even that is destroyed the suffering is due to vikshepa shakti the projecting power of maya makes us to always be in that shoka suffering always things will never happen we are bound by maya and always we imagine 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 chains of thoughts we are bound by our own chains of thoughts imagination so that is vikshep so our mind is deluded bhranti manobhranti so that vikshep resulting in manobhranta sthiti total imagination till the last moment of birth uh, death and that results in dukha suffering so that is this part so please we have to remember three things about acharya is mentioned one is here the avarna shakti of maya false projection mithya jnana false identification mithya jnana and dukha nivrutti that the grief destruction of grief suffering ए नेक्स्ट ही कंटिन्यूज दैट एतत्कृते कृतयं दृष्टं सम्यक् 
ಪ್ರಜ್ಜಸ್ವರೋಪ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ತಸ್ಮಸ್ತು ಸತತ್ವ ಜ್ಞಾತವ್ಯಂ ಬಂಧ ಮುಕ್ತ ಏ ವಿಷಾ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ಜಸ್ವರೋಪ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ತಸ್ಮಸ್ತು ಸತತ್ವ ಜ್ಞಾತವ್ಯ ಬಂಧ ಮುಕ್ತ ಏ ವಿಷಾ So he is giving the injunction or Upadesha here to the disciple. So what he says, Etat Tritayam Dushtam. So Tritayam. Sarparajju Nyaya Dalli, Hindiya Acharya Hedi Rokkakara, Vekishuda Mandi, Vedanta Bahu Mukhya Vadanta Kondu Prasanga, Adho Vandu Nirupan, Sarparajju Nyaya. ಆ ಸರ್ಪರಜ್ಜು ನ್ಯಾಯದ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಹಗ್ಗದ ಸ್ವರೂಪವನ್ನು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅರಿತುಕೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಮೊದಲು ಅದು ಹಾವು ಅಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ನಸು ಬೆಳಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂದವಾದ ಬೆಳಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಸು ಗತ್ಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಸ್ತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ದೂರದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೋ ಹಾವು ಬಿದ್ದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಹೋಗಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅದು ಹಾವಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಹಾವಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಆ ಹಗ್ಗದ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಈ ಮೂರು ಏತತ್ ಹೃದಯಂ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ರಜ್ಜು ಸ್ವರೂಪ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ರಜ್ಜು ಸ್ವರೂಪ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಏತತ್ಕೃತಯಂ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಈ ಮೂರುಗೂ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಸ್ಫುಟವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ಮೂರು ಸರ್ಪರಜ್ಜು ನ್ಯಾಯದಂತೆ ಎದುರಿಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಹಾವಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಅನ್ನುವ ಅನುಭವ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸಿದ್ಧನಾಗಿ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಈ ಮೂರು ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಗೋಚರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ಮೂರು ಮಾಯೆಯ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಮತ್ತು ಆತ್ಯಂತಿಕ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಭಾವದಿಂದ ಏನಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವತಃ ಹಗ್ಗ ಇದ್ರು ಅದು ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ಹೋಗಿತ್ತು ಹಗ್ಗದ ಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ಹೋಗಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸ್ಲಿಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ಮೊದಲು ನೋಡಿದ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಆ ಒಂದು ಅನಿಸ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಹಗ್ಗದ ಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ಹೋಗಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಾಯ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅದು ಎದುರು ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಹಾವು ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸ್ತಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಷಣ ಅದು ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಹಾವು ಅಂತಂದಾಗ ಹೆದರಿಕೆ ಬಂತಲ್ಲ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ನನ್ನ ಎದುರಿಗೆ ಹಾವಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಹಾವಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಯ ಸಂಕಟ ಹೆದರಿಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಖರ್ಚು ಬಿಡುತ್ತೋ ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಯ ಆ ಕ್ಷಣ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಂದಿರ್ತ ಉದ್ವೇಗ ಭಯ ತಳಮಳ ಸಂಕಟ ಹೆದರಿಕೆ ದುಃಖ ಆ ದುಃಖವು ಮುಂದೆ ಹೊರಟೋಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಇದೇ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಕೊನೆಗೆ ಸದ್ಯ ಹಾವಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಅಂತ ಖಾತ್ರಿ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಖಚಿತವಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಹಬ್ಬ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಹಾವಲ್ಲ ಹಗ್ಗ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾನು ಬಚಾವಾದೆ ನನಗೆ ಯಾವ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದು ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಮೂರು ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತದೆ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಂಟಾದಾಗ ಇದೇ ಪ್ರಕಾರವಾಗಿ ಆತ್ಯಂತಿಕವಾಗಿ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಂಧನ ಕತ್ತರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದೇಹ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಸತ್ಯ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಹೊರಟೋಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ದುಃಖದ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಆಗಿ ಏತತ್ ಕೃತ ಎಂ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ವಸ್ತು ಸತತ್ವ ಜ್ಞಾತವ್ಯ ಬಂಧ ಭುಕ್ತ ಏ ವಿಷ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷವಾದವನು ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಆದವನು ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರವನ್ನು ಪಡೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರವನ್ನು ಪಡೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊರಟಂತಹ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿರತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಈ ಸಂಸಾರ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿಗಾಗಿ ವಸ್ತುವಿನ ನಿಜಸ್ಥಿತಿಯನ್ನ ಯಾಥಾತ್ಮ್ಯವನ್ನು ವಸ್ತುವಿನ ನಿಜ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯಾತಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಆ ಯಾತಾತ್ಮ್ಯವನ್ನ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ snake and the rope
when suddenly a rope is there, a cut rope is there on the roadside, we imagine that it is to be a snake. The moment we think that, oh, there is a snake, it is there in front of me on the road. So, I am seeing the snake there, number one. I am seeing the snake. And because of that, there is fear, psychosis in my heart. Adrenaline is pumped up. I am afraid. All reflex action. My body becomes erect. Oh, yo. So there is a snake. Why? Because it may bite me. It may be poisonous. The snake, synonym with poison. The moment I see a snake, it is going to bite me and I am going to die. See that? Fear. Fear psychosis. Fear psychosis. That's it. That's it. Because of that suffering, mental suffering. Then only after close examination, when I find that it is not a snake, it is only a cut rope, because of the dim light, it appeared like a snake. Sarpa Raju Nyaya. Raju means rope. Sarpa means snake. Sarpa Raju Nyaya. So once I identify with a closer examination, then what I Then I'll immediately feel very happy. The tension is released. That fear psychosis which had you know, welled up in the mind goes away. Then I realize that it is only a rope, not a snake. So what happens by this? So the avarana, avarana shakti of maya, the concealing power of maya is gone. The rope was concealed only the snake appeared in my mental projection first, the moment I saw it. So that is Avarana Shakti, concealing the true nature. The rope never appeared as a rope to me. In the beginning, it appeared like a snake. So the appearance of a snake is the Maya Avarana Shakti. Concealing. Out of that fear, fear developed. So that is Dukkha. Then closer examination, what happened? No, no, I felt that it is not a snake, it is a rope only. So, mind became quiet. So, that, that crisis is over. Mental tension gone. That fear psychosis gone. So, the three. So, by looking at this example, the etat kritayam drushtam samyak rajyasurupa vijnana. So, by this example of Sarparajyo Nyaya, this metaphor or the idiom or the simile, the phrase, Acharya says, by examining this Sarparajyo Nyaya, all the three are lost. What are the three? Avarna Shakti, concealment, Maya, concealing power of Maya, Mithya Jnana, Mithya Jnana, false identification. What is the Mithya Jnana here, the rope, snake, Mithya Jnana. And out of that fear, tension, BP rise, thinking that the snow will, snake will bite. So the fear psychosis and related psychosomatic developments in the body and the mind. So that went away. So that is removal of suffering or crisis. Dukkha Nivru. So this imagination is Vikshepa Shakti. Vikshepa Shakti of Maya makes you to imagine so many things, one by one, one by one. Oh, there is a rope. Rope will bite me. Then the poison will enter. Then I will die. I have to go to the hospital. There is nobody. What to do? See, all such chains of thoughts lead to worry and tension in my own mind. That is due to Vikshepa of Maya. So the Kritayam Acharya means here is the three folded activities happening in the mind. So by the proper knowledge of the rope, in the rope snake example, these three are destroyed. The Avarana Shakti of Maya, the Mithya Jnana and the Dukkha Nivruti, all the three will happen. So the, that is why the Jijnasu or the Mumukshu Uttam Adhikari should perceive 
correctly the truth the truth or the sadvastu or brahma padartha the absolute or samyak padartha or pratyekatma so that he will be released from the bondage tasmat vastu satatvam jnatavyam banda muktaye vidusha vidusha the qualified disciple Samadhikari, that is why so in order to be liberated from the life means no more rebirth Vidusha here the highest qualified disciple earnestly try Tasma he must earnestly try continue his path in the spiritual sadhana to understand and decipher by direct first hand experience the Atma Sakshat He has to strive. Initial efforts have to be there. Tasmat vastu satatvam yatavyam. So by the proper understanding, the mumukshu should perceive correctly the truth, sadvastu. So that he will be released from the bondage, pandamukta, in order to be released from the cycle of birth and death. see that there is no more rebirth so this birth is the last birth this will be the last birth and he will not enact the same drama in the next birth after taking another birth so these are the things that are is hinting regularly repeatedly hammering and hammering hammering into our mind how far we can follow this is left to our own understanding our own spiritual development or spiritual sadhana and the sadguru's grace actually so with this by guru sankalpa today's discourse we are stopping at verse number 347 of viveki toda ariyo श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम 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 हरि ओम ओम नमो भगवते विराट थैंक यू सर thank you for the beautiful discourse as always and uh, acharya has 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 be is be is unveiling the secrets behind uh, not having rebirth finally <laughs> thank you sir ariyo why why to repeat the ariyo